I got this little pattern. It's for a plane iron, an old hand plane. I've got to make a follow board. It's concave slightly to a degree. So when I make this follow board, I got to be careful to keep that from springing in as I round the top part. I want to cut the middle piece first. This is going to be in several different sections. And this is an inch and a quarter between these two lugs. So I want to cut that piece first. Okay, so this piece will go in the middle. Now I'm just going to cut the remainder to fill out the width of that flask. And then I'll go in and knock where these lugs are. Ten inches. This is a cheap table saw. If you're like me and you know that's never exactly accurate, this is machined pretty square to that slot. So I just usually loosen this up, lay it upside down, butt it up against that, and tighten her down. And that should get it. Should have plenty of side slack. Oh yeah, more than enough. Now we'll get these glued together. Okay, so we got our follow board. It'll lay right here. We'll put the cope on. I'm going to flip it over when I actually do the molding. And this is going to be the side that's going to go in the drag. It's going to fit in there just like this. Now, like I said earlier, there is a curve right in here. So it's going to allow it to spring on me as I'm ramming the sand. So what I got to do, I have to mix up some water putty, smear in this area here lay a piece of wax paper on top of it and then push this down on it to help squeeze it into that shape and after that dries we'll ram this thing Durham's rock hard water putty I use it for just about everything and I'm using a little swish cup Something that works better than this, but I can't get my hands on it at the moment, is my wife's fine china. We're going to add just a little bit of water. Not much. And we're going to let this dry, and then I'll pull the wax paper up. Okay, after the next day the water putty has dried solid, I'm able to go ahead and use the file board in the mold process. Applying the facing sand, now the backing sand. 
and I'm ramming the drag first. So the flask is upside down at this point. After I strike this off, I'm going to flip the flask over, separate it, removing the cope, and then I will carefully lift the follow board off. Next, I'm going to slightly cope down to that convex bottom that I was telling you about. And then I'm going to lightly wrap the part. And wrapping the part now, before I ram it on up, will help me leave a lot cleaner parting line because it will disturb the perimeter of it shaking any possible loose particles of sand on out of the path of it <clears throat> when I go get ready to ram up the drag. Keep in mind this is right side up, so after I strike this off, I'm going to be cutting the sprue for the pouring basin. And now that that's done, I can separate the flask. And the pattern is going to stay in the cope. And I left a fairly clean impression on the drag. So I'm dumping any possible loose particles out before I cut the gating. This is the cope with the pattern still in it. This is the feeder coming from the riser, from the bottom of the riser, which is still going to be in the cope. And I'm going to gate into it here in the, at the wings, or the lugs, whatever you want to call it. Lightly touching the sand to press that down. I'm going to set that in place. O'Dollar says hi. She's getting big. And now I'm going to gently wrap the pattern and try to remove it from the cope without tearing any sand. The lugs are fairly deep and there was a few spots where it was catching sand so I'm having to be meticulous with this and just uh, wrap and wiggle and wrap and rock uh, rotating in all directions as you can see here just kind of wiggling away until it was free. There we go. Now I'm going to remove the riser. I've already uh, that little slotted hold to your right is the actual sprue. I got very close to the uh, 
riser when I punched that in. And uh, blowing the debris out. And Keith Rucker was over that day. And one of these is his part. The other mold is this part. So but anyway, Keith was shooting a video for a project that he's got that he'll be posting the upcoming month or so. Here we're discussing what we could have done differently. And after the pour, we had some ice cream. Mm -hmm. I like mine real thick. It's good, I do too. I'm going to wait till it gets hard to turn. I'm going to let it be your turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the pattern. And here's the casting. Now, the customer requested that I not grind this. He wants to do all the grind and clean up, so I'm going to send it like this. I'm not used to doing that, but it was at his request I am. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. To follow me on all the future projects I'll be working on here at Windy Hill Foundry. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a good day.